Hey guys, it's PC Master 160 here, and I am back in my house for another evolution of technology. So, uh, yeah, last episode I said that some of the video got cut off. Basically, it was me making these gears so that I can make the quarry. Because we are going to make a quarry this episode. So I want to get some build craft energy started using some of the oil I got over here. So for a quarry, basically to make it, you need these gears. So you need iron gears, gold gears, and diamond gears. A diamond gear is diamonds around a gold gear. Gold gear is gold around an iron gear. Iron gear is iron around a stone gear. Stone, oh, stone gear is stone around, cobblestone around a wood gear. Wood gear is sticks. So, yeah. Uh, basically, it was just me forming those with the stuff and failing at math. So, this guy you didn't really miss much. So, now, let's see. I need iron, I need three iron gears. So, I need diamond gears, two diamond gears. Okay, so let's do that. There we go. Oh, shoot. I need gold gears for first. And I need two gold gears. So I need four gold gears. So let's do that. Put them around four iron gears. There we go. We got four gold gears. And we can't get this back, so... Gotta be smart about this. So then I need to make my diamond gear. Oops. My diamond gears. There we go. Two diamond gears. Now that's expensive right there. Then what we need is... Is that it? We got our... Good. Okay, now we need a diamond pickaxe. So, we only got three diamonds left. Wow. Let's get sticks for that. So there we go, diamond pickaxe. And it can't have any damage done. Let's put pickaxe at the bottom with the gears. And then the gold gears. And then iron gears. And then redstone. And we have a quarry. Nice. So this insanely expensive thing out here will basically mine a giant hole in the ground. So before I do that, I need something to power it. So there's a couple tiers of power you can do. So if I search up engine. So first tier is... Um, redstone engine. That is what we need to pump water or pump things out. You'll see that it doesn't require any fuel. Then we have a steam engine which runs off coal. Then we have a combustion engine. Combustion engine needs iron, glass, and more iron. But the issue with combustion engine is it needs to be cooled. So let's see what materials we got here. Uh, we don't have a ton of iron. But, what do we need? We would need eight. What was that, two gears? How many gears was it? Yeah, we need eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we need eleven iron, so we have that. So I can make one combustion engine. And then, we would need... Some we need three redstone engines, or f maybe four, I think. So that's just wood, so that's fine. And a piston, so that's one extra piece of iron. Uh, and then what else would we need? We just need pipes. Oh, and then of course, we need a pump to pump out the oil. And we'd actually need to refine the oil, too. So, okay, so that, that's pretty iron-intensive um, recipe. So we're just going to go steam engine start off. So steam engine, we need just stone and cobblestone. So first we need a piston. Make a piston, we need wood, cobble, iron, and redstone. Looks like we got all that on us, don't we? We need redstone. 
Uh, so let's get the redstone out. There we go. Uh, let's make one, two, three, about four pistons. Because we're just going to need to do that in the future. And we need to get our glass. Which, it, yep, here it is. And then, what else do we need? Why did I close out of any eye? Okay, we're going to need our glass. We're going to need stone gears. Do we have enough stone on us? Yeah, probably. So does stone gears show up in here? Oh, we have stone gears. I forgot. Because I made some extras. Uh, then we're going to need glass and cobble. We have all that. So there's our engine. Steam engine right there. So this will provide power. So with a quarry... You want to go kind of far away from your house. And I'm going to make one more thing over here. This is a chunk loading block. Uh, so that we will be able to be far away from our house. And the quarry will still run. But also the issue is. If we want to get our stuff back to our house. We are going to have to make it somewhat close by but I don't want to like grief my entire world over here so I might just use a bunch of chests so let's just run on over here and also we could use uh, minecarts to get back our items back and forth so lots of modes of transportation we could go with here uh, but I want to make sure that this at least isn't in the plains biome. In fact, I could make it in the ocean, and that would be nice, because the water would hide the giant hole. So I might do that. Doesn't seem like a bad idea to me. Okay, we're almost here. We are going to make it in the ocean over here. Looks about good place to me. Uh, but still plains. I don't exactly want to do it by the plains. So let's go by the rub where I found the rubber tree, I think. Over there. So let's sprint. And... Hmm, with this island, we could do something cool. I could make this my quarry island. Maybe. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. So. Just head on over here. And I think this will be my quarry island. So what I'll do here is I'll make a little dock. So let's just do that. Three by three dock thing. And we're going to have our offshore mining platform, pretty much. So, that's cool. Uh, let me see if there's a machine that could help me do this. Well, I don't have a power grid to do this yet. So, at the moment, best way is to do it like this. So, I'm going to go out a bit and I'll super fast forward this. Okay, uh, it's not insanely far away, but that looks like good distance to me. Uh, something I forgot to make was a marker. Um, or a landmark. So that we just need lapis and a redstone torch. Uh, I don't have lapis on me, so I might have to make a quick trip home. Uh, well, alternatively, I could use the quarry without one. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so there's the area it's going to mine down. I guess that's fine for now. Uh, yeah, that's perfectly fine. And it'll give me any ores that it collects. But I need a chest first. So let's just make a crafting table. Put down over here, it's getting dark out. Let's just make a cat. No, I could 
No, I can make two chests. Barely. Cool. So I just get a double chest over here. And a steam engine over here. And now power a steam engine. I'm going to need a redstone torch. So I'm going to run back. And it's getting dark out. So let's just do that. And I'll super fast forward it again. Okay, there's a lot of creepers popping up over here. Not like the looks of that. So, let's cut through that town over here. Hopefully that helps us out. Should light up this area, like the whole area a lot more. Oh god. Okay, lots of creepers. Scary creepers. And I'm getting low on food. And I actually ran out of food because I lost all my bread. Like a full stack of bread when I died. So, it's not good. Hopefully we're far enough so the creepers still aren't following me. Doesn't look like it. And hopefully none will spawn over here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take a nap, and I'll be right back. So I'm just about back at our quarry here. Got a bite to eat as you guys saw. And got our redstone torches and a stack of coal. So basically, that's a weird bug. The frame doesn't extend across the whole quarry. But basically, I'm gonna put coal in here. And this quarry is gonna build itself and fill up this chest here. So I go like that, and you see the frame is starting to build. So it'll just do that in a square, and then it'll start mining out stuff. So I think I'm going to fast forward mode this. And also the more engines I have on here, the better. In fact, I don't have glass on me to make another one. I could make another one and put it on this side here. Uh, but yep. Yeah perfectly fine and it'll just dig a giant hole into the ground and the wire will fill it all up and it'll be kind of hard to tell and once that's done I can make a bigger one and stuff like that hopefully eventually I'll have a giant power grid that runs off of where is that uh, somewhere around there the oil so that will be pretty freaking cool. And I found water again. Oh, uh, that time was not next. <laughs> uh, okay. So I think our next goal should be to start up a power grid. And then I'm going to build my house for real. We can walk on over here and see that it's a bug that this line isn't drawn. Because it should be. But yeah. Um, to build my house, I'm going to do something involving buildcraft power. So I think we should try to get power grid all going soonish. I'm going to try and mine some more between episodes, just get a kickstarter and get more ores and stuff so we can really do some cool stuff. And I guess I'll time lapse this building. And we're just about done here, so in a moment here, there we go. We got the drill has formed. So basically this drill, you can't 
stand that, you can go through it. It's but what it will do is it's a diamond tip and it will go down to the bottom and it'll just start mining out. So we can see that in a second. It's a bit slow, but it's got cool animation and everything. So it's just going to go to the bottom. Oh god. I'm pretty sure that shark wants to eat me. Well, that's not good. Um why don't we kill it? Yeah, die shark. Shark looks angry. Like he would kill me if I can't cuz I'm out of war. Okay, so yeah, that's just going to mine up. And you can see in here it's gathering some dirt already. So, that's cool stuff. That's about the end of this episode. And you see it's just going down in a line. That's the end of this episode. I'm going to go mine a lot, and then I'll be back. Also, one thing I forgot to mention. With the chunk loader blocks, basically if I put one down and I hit the key, I think I set it up to F10, yeah. But default is F9, maybe? You want to make sure that the quarry stays within the lines. That basically means if you get really far away, it'll still be loaded and it'll still be mining for you. And just after a tiny bit, that's how much it's gotten so far. It's a lot of dirt, sand, cobble. So, yep. See you guys next episode. Also, I harvested a bunch of wheat after this episode. And so this is me just coming back from harvesting it and I run out of food and I'm starving to death and it was a really close near death experience. So yeah, just wanted to put that in there. Then I bake up about 45 pieces of bread I think. It's pretty good stuff right there. The NPC village is paying off. Okay, well, this episode is over for real now. So, see you guys in the next episode.